So I made some salmon the other night. It was the big whole filet. And there was a little bit like on the edge where it's thinner than the rest of it, you know, like sort of like that thing that hangs at the bottom of your bicep. So trim that off the salmon because it wouldn't cook at the same time. So I have like a half a pound left. So perfect thing, let's make some uh, salmon cakes out of those. Okay, so I've taken the salmon, uh, skin and all, cut into about two inch chunks into the food processor. Got a little mustard in there, you know, not much left in this container, so I'm going to guess there's about a healthy, healthy tablespoon of horseradish mustard. I have some fresh dill. I'm going to put in a little binder. So I have, I'm thinking we're going to use about two tablespoons of unseasoned breadcrumbs. I'm going to give that a little whirl, but we might need something to bind it together even more. So just a plop one egg in there. Top goes on. We're going to give it a little whirl, but we don't want it into a paste. We sort of want it a little bit chunky. So I'm just going to use the pulse function. Looks pretty good. I might go in here and see that hmm, skin does not grind up well, so I'll pick that out. Okay, about two tablespoons of butter, that type of heat. Nice and getting brown. Just going to take our little salmon cakes, put them in. Gonna flatten that one a little bit. There we go. And now, how long can we stir and just watch them cook? So I'm gonna wait till oh, about halfway up, we start seeing it turn opaque, and then I'll give them a flip. Okay, I think we can flip these gently. Oh, nice brown crust on those. So that was about eh, 90 seconds, maybe two minutes. And now we'll just let those finish cooking. Okay, these are done. I used my uh, instant read thermometer to check because we used a raw egg in there. I wanted to make sure that the inside was cooked to 145 degrees. Now go ahead and make those your way, using whatever spices, herbs you enjoy. See you next time.